Hi, it's Neil. Welcome to my office. And I've been looking around for a waffle maker. I used to have one like years and years ago, and then I didn't have one for a really long time. And I know, you know, eating waffles isn't going isn't gonna to make me skinny or anything like that. But, you know, whatever. I like waffles sometimes anyway. So this one here is supposed to be like fairly non-stick and stuff. And it's said anti-overflow, which sounded like a good idea since I seem to overflow a lot. But um, I'm going to... Probably behind me, I think I'll do like, I'll put some pictures so you guys can see the process of it. I'll take pictures as I'm cooking my waffles um, so you can kind of get an idea of, of what it is. Um, and let's see here, let's open this up and we'll check it out here. So here we go, it comes with a little measuring scoop. I guess that'll help me not overflow as well. Right. Hopefully that's not the anti-overflow uh, device. It's just a measuring cup, that would be silly. Okay. So, ooh, it smells like, smells like China or something in here. But, okay, <laughs> that the box is empty. I always like to show you guys the box within here. Is the waffle maker and the instructions. So let's see, so here's some instructions for it. So you can kind of see there, I got a lot of lights reflecting stuff, but the instructions are big and a bunch of safety instructions, the operating instructions, basically plug it in and the light goes on to tell you it's ready. So there you go. And it says before the first use to clean it. I think it says something like that in there. But let's look at the thing and then I'll cook it. And when I'm cooking, you'll see the pictures back there of it. But let's just see what it looks like here. So this is it. It's got different heat settings here. So it looks like I can go all the way from one to max. I guess I'm not sure exactly what those are going to be for. But then it makes this, these big Belgian-y waffles. So I bought some Belgian waffle mix and I'm going to give this a try. But it's pretty nice. It clips closed. And it's not one of those ones that you flip over or anything like that. I was looking at those, but those just took up so much space on the counter because it had a whole apparatus and a whole big, it was just a lot of, a lot of extra stuff. But this one here seems pretty good. It's got like a little silicone grabber here. So you're not going to burn yourself when you open it up and got the plug that wraps up here. So I'll be able to wrap it up and stick it in my, uh, in my cabinet or pantry pretty easily. But I kind of like it. It looks nice. I mean, you just see here all the different stuff in it, the, the settings and everything, and it clicks as it turns. So you know where it is. It's got the different two lights there, which is good. It's got the different lights on the different sides. So you'll have the power light and the ready light. Um, me, me being color blind, it's nice to have two different lights on different sides rather than a single light that changes colors because I can never figure that out. So we're gonna give this thing a try and I'll let you know how it works. Um, but I like it so far. It looks good, nice and convenient. It smells going away a little bit, at least, thankfully. Oof, I have a lot of packing materials. I think it, it's probably all the, yeah, it's probably all the, um, all the other stuff in there. That's what it was. But, um, <laughs> but be sure to subscribe to my channel and like my video. And uh, the link for this will be in the description so you can pick one up yourself. The price wasn't too bad. So if it's good and you see nice pictures there and nice comments in the description, then you'll know that I liked it. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.